A very happy manager today. Yeah, I am really. If they'd offered me, like you know, like I've said to the radio and that, if I'd been offered to, uh, you know, a point before the game, and obviously, you know, we're playing like the favourites for the title, and they're a big, big club, big, big players, and a big, big budget, you know, and uh, you know. But to, to be honest, I've got a little, little uh, hint of disappointment because at the end of the day, we was one new up at half time. I've said to the boys, if we keep, uh, keep, if we can keep it tight for 10, 15 minutes, I think I'm going to win the game. But we can see the goal within like 60 seconds, and uh, it was hard for us. But the lads showed great character. And we got back to uh, we got back to go in front, and again, so it's in front twice a day. So that side of it's a little bit disappointing. But at the end of the day, you know, they're a good side. They're a good side. I don't I don't care what they say about oh we've got so and so missing, we've got so and so missing. The amount of money they've got, they shouldn't have to worry about players missing. You know, they, they want to try being like manager of a club like this sort of thing, where we work by our means and we've got all volunteers and. You know, and we work. You know, I say work with our means, and we've got players missing today. You know, what we I mean, have. we weren't we weren't at full strength, but what we did do today, we looked very, we looked very strong. We were very organised. It was nice of them to say that. You know, that it's going to be hard for teams to come down here and get a result. But that's what we want. Belmont's always in our place to get a result. You know, and uh, but I, you know, beginning of the season, I said this by the end of the Dover game. I knew we had a tough opening. It would be a big measuring stick for us. And, uh, you know, here we are at the end of the dub game. We're not far away. We're not far away. We're a good side and, uh, you know, we're going to do well. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, I'm just saying to the lads in there that uh, today this game for me was... Uh, uh, puts us in a similar situation as after the Margate game last season. I think after the Margate game, it was such a good high-profile game. The players' belief, um, all of a sudden, they, um, they stepped up a gear. And I think today will be similar. Yeah, 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 like, you know, we're going to step up, you know, but I said to the boys before the game, you know, these are the games, you know, that you want to be involved in. I was jealous of them today, really jealous, because I love a big game, and, and as, you know, all throughout my career, I loved to be, you know, I wanted to be part of big games like this today, and, you know, and it was a, you know, big, uh, big crowds, big atmosphere, you know, and I wanted, you know, you know, I'd love for that to have been done. But the players done ever so well today. They rose, uh, they rose to the, uh, rose to the occasion. But I've said to them, if you don't want to be part of games like today, if you don't want to be part of it, the games like today, then don't be in the change room. Simple as that. Yeah, you've, uh, you've got some strength in depth there, even though they're young lads, haven't you? Well, I have. You know, that's what we've got. You know, that's what I'm saying. That's what I've just said to you. You know, for them to come out with excuses, they've, they've got players missing. Is a, you know, I just think it's poor. It's a poor excuse because we've got a big strong squad, you know, we, we, we have people missing and like, you know, and, uh, but it doesn't show too much because we're organised, we try and do our right thing and, uh, you know, and hopefully we can move on and, you know, we've found, we've found our feet, we've found our feet uh, over this past week, you know, and we've lost two away games against Met Police who uh, got their own title ambitions, away at Walter and Ersham who, uh, you know, come down from the Premier, body your goal and now we've drawn with the team that... You know, are supposed to be like the favourites and the team that, are, you know, that are supposed to be like a little bit of the main United, if you like. You know what I mean? I went and watched Cray against them last week, and I thought Cray were a bit in all of them. The players today were in all of them. You know, we went out there and done ever so well, and we've held our own. We've, we've more than held our own today. And like I say, we're a good side. We're getting better by the getting better by the game, and uh, we're looking forward to the rest of the season. And certainly, I'm Mark. Well. Uh Good luck for the rest of the season now and uh, FA Cup game uh, this Saturday. Yeah, looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. You know, we know Thames Media are going to be a, a good side. We enjoyed a little bit of a cup run last year. You know, and uh, we've got Margate, you know, a year and a big game, you know, and if we can get through Saturday, well, I think we've got Carl Short and, you know, we're a one premier side. But it's going to be, you know, small clubs like us need to try and have a bit of a cup run. But me personally as a manager, all I'm looking to do is get confidence inside and get a win. And uh, you know we know it's going to be difficult. Thames Mead, Thames Mead do a good side. They're a, a fantastic club. You know Kiefer, Kiefer know what to expect next week. He knows it's not going to be easy for them. You know, and uh, but at the end of the day, you know it might be uh, you know it's on the other end a little bit. You know we're used to being the underdogs, whereas maybe they might be a little bit underdogs because we're the Ryman side. But it's going to be a tough game. It'll be another test of character for the boys. But we're looking out there to get a result. And then the following week, obviously we go to Orsham looking for our first Ryman win. And, uh, but the boys are up for it, we're going to train well Wednesday night and I think today, to be honest with you, was the, one of the big positives for me today was our fitness levels, you know, we had a, you know, it was a hot day Saturday and, you know, and our fitness, you look good on Saturday and then to come here against Dover and still be going strong at the end is great for, great for us and it shows that maybe, like, you know, 
the hard work through the through the summer has done well, you know. But uh, no, we're looking forward to it. Looking forward to the FA Cup next week. It'd be nice to get away from the league just for just for a weekend, and then we move on with the Ryman. Thanks very much.